The figure below is not drawn to scale. ACD is an isosceles triangle. Angle ADC over here is 46 degrees. And angle BED is 43 degrees. The line AC is parallel to the line DE. Find angle K over here. Looking at the diagram, probably the easiest angle to start first will be this angle over here, which is part of the isosceles. So this angle ACD will be 180 degrees minus 46 degrees divided by 2. And that will give you 67 degrees. Let me write it down, 67 degrees and over here. Next, there are two ways to find our next angle. Probably the easiest way would be to use the Z rule. C, A, D, E. Now let's recap what is the Z rule. So as long as you have a Z shape, doesn't matter this way or this way, and the top and the bottom of the Z are parallel lines, this angle and this angle will be the same. Similarly, this angle and this angle will be the same. Alright, so as you can see, we have this zag. This line and this line are parallel. So if this is 67 degrees, this must also be 67 degrees. Another way to get to this angle over here is to use the property of a trapezium. You can see that C, B, E, D is a trapezium, which means this angle over here and this angle over here will add up to 180. If you take 180 minus 67 minus 46, you will get the answer here, which is 67 degrees. Moving on, we can find this angle over here, which is angles in a triangle. We take 180 minus 67 minus 43, that will give us 70 degrees. Last, to find this angle K, we just need to use angles on a straight line. Angle K, we just take 180 degrees minus 70 degrees, then that will give us the answer of 110 degrees.